they can intersect with that slab. Actually, we can probably just make the piers part of this border slab. So I'm going to go into the our post component. And we're going to put a guideline out of one of these posts. So I'm just going to grab the top of the post, which I selected by moving around it, even though you can't see it. I'm just going to raise it up 20 inches so we can work with it. And we're going to take a, put a guideline in here with the ruler. So I'm going to go from this edge to the center. And then from that line, I'm just going to click here. Boom, and then it'll let me make a dotted line again. I'm in the green direction. I'm holding shift and I'm going to index to the center of that. So now that one guideline is going down the center of our post. I'll delete these other two. And then click out of that post component. Actually, we can lower the top of it. <clears throat> Select this. And then rather than hang on to part of the selection, um, sometimes when you do that, that thing will move all over the place. You can just pick any vertical line and pull it and it'll, it'll stay vertical. Okay, so now that I got it 20 inches up, I'm just going to pull it, start at 20, enter, and it drops it back down to where we want it. So we're just going to click out of this, and now we have center lines coming out of those posts. So if I go into the group for this base here, we have a reference point. Let's just put an 8-inch pier on that. And we're just going to type 4, enter which gives us an 8 inch diameter. I use a plugin that I downloaded and by using the guide tools I can select this circle and put a point in the center of it. And I'm going to select these things, right click and make this a component. I'm going to call it Pier. Create that and then move Control. We're going to grab this by the center point and flick it over here and put it on that spot. Hold down shift to select this. Oops. Space bar to get out of the move tool. Hold down shift. Select those two. Move. Control to copy. Grab the center point and then move it over to these dotted lines here or guidelines. And now when we go into one of these components and when we pull it down 42 inches to get it below frost in this part of the country anyways. 42, enter. And that gives us four piers that are attached to the slab, theoretically for supporting the post. I'm going to delete that guideline so it doesn't confuse the model. So now we have a little bit more to work with there as far as the structure and layout of the pergola. We'll use materials in another uh, section of the tutorial to paint up this slab and the structure to give it a more realistic look.